So this morning we had a bat mitzvah. And that line who had the bat mitzvah is really the sweetest girl. And she's so bright and she's so wonderful. But she's 13. Right? She can do good things, we teach her. But there is a point in our life when we can go beyond the law. Because as you know, everyone can be a law-abiding person and still not a wonderful human being. Right? We can really observe the law to the letter. But being unkind, being selfish, taking advantage of people, there is a point in which we learn, or at least we should learn, that just following the law is not enough. We have to go beyond that. And this is the second part, meets what? So I think that if Madeline today, this morning, became a bat mitzvah with regard to the law, what you're doing today is not just learning or becoming an adult, as she said in her speech. I think for you, it's becoming something more than an adult, a mensch. A person who really knows and wants to live her or his life beyond just this threshold, this minimum of what we need to do. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized that I think everyone needs to have an adult bar bat mitzvah, even if we have it at the age of 13. There is a stage in our life, again, if we are lucky, in which we feel that we just turn the corner. You know, I thought about it, David Brooks from the New York Times just wrote a book. He talks about two hills. He said, you know, we all climb two hills. So the first deal, yeah, when you are 13 and much older, all you think about is your school, and your profession, and your career, and it's all about me and me and me. Even when you talk about your family, it's my children, and what should I do to teach them and to send them to good school? And then it said some lucky people at one point realized, okay, this hill is really nice, but it's time for a second hill. Not so much about this me, but about others, about almost, I think all of you who, is, who have spoken so far, talked about your families, but not in a possessive way as we do when we have little kids, but you want your children and grandchildren and spouses and others to be proud of you because it's about you, but it's part of something much bigger. You talked about your community, you talked about the Jewish people, the emphasis at one point is shifting from this me and I to we, to them. And I really think that that's the idea of becoming an adult and to celebrate it in a very spiritual way. Because all of you could have just had a nice party and invite your families and friends to a nice dinner to celebrate your 66th birthday, or I would not mention more ages because I'm not so <laughs> careless. But you could have, but you didn't want to do it. You wanted to take it higher than that. You wanted to elevate this moment. And it's really inspiring for me personally, and I hope that for all of you who are here with you. So I really want to thank you you all very nicely thanked all of us for taking part of it. But I know it sounds like a cliché, but something like a cliché does not mean that it's not true. These meetings affected us and taught us a lot. All these wonderful interactions with people who are looking for something, something that you missed. And we learned a lot about ourselves. So thank you very much for choosing to do it here with us. And now I think we are ready to continue with the Torah service as we proudly finish the middle book of the Torah, the book of Leviticus.